everybody, it's Jason Baja here. Now that my two obligatory informative videos are done for the day, it's time to talk about current events in the online fitness community. And little caveat, I know some people have been complaining about the sound quality in these, and I, I'm sorry, I'm like 20 videos ahead on my informative, so I'm still uploading videos that I filmed back in January for my informative stuff. Um, next week, I'm going to move this camera in this studio into one of my bedrooms. It has carpet, and it's further away from the street. I have this in a room with hardwood floors. And in spite of having like a mic that's worth between two and three hundred dollars using every filter I possibly can, as much as I love using this room, uh, the sound quality has been a problem. It's going to be sorted. Give me a week or so. Uh, I'm going to move all this over to one of the bedrooms because I do have plenty of space. I have multiple bedrooms um, with carpet that are further away from the street. It's just I can't get the sound quality right in here. And it sucks because I love using this room. But over to the point, over to the point. We have Kenno Body now imitating strap on destiny doing neck work. So let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing, work on skill number crafting a little bit, and let's talk about this. You guys notice a trend here? Notice every single person on YouTube Fitness who's promoting neck training is Canadian. And they're all saying, oh yeah, 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 man, doing neck work will make you look more masculine. What, whatever happened to just getting big? Whatever happened to just getting big? Um, and you know, Jeff Nippert is another one. He's been pulling it too. They're all Canadians. Uh, and I don't know anything about Jeff's background, but I'm seeing a common trend here. And some people are not gonna like what I'm gonna say here, but it's like, look, Canada, it, it's, the culture there has been cucked a little bit. It's been cucked a little bit. And the first person who'll jump in and back me on this, my bro, Nico, uh, who will comment below, and he is ultra jacked and strong for a natural. And he was one of my first 25 subscribers. I've known him before I was a YouTuber. He's Canadian, he's red-pilled. Uh, he'll say the same thing. He'll say the same thing. You know, so you see these young men who, in a certain way, they have a different mentality now. I know at least two of them seem to have been raised by, by single mothers. Like, Ken O'Body's dad did pass early on, which is unfortunate. I'm not, gonna, I'm not making fun of that. That sucks. Um, Alex was raised by a single mother. Now, you, you guys see, see a trend here? You notice they're struggling. These guys are struggling. Raised by single mothers without having a father in their life. They're struggling to be men. They're struggling to be men. And they come up with the silliest stuff like if you just get really yoked, if you train your traps, if you train your neck, you can be manly. That's, that's, that's what being manly. They've, do you guys see that? Do you guys see a trend there? These are Canadian dudes who didn't grow up with a father. They didn't grow up with a father in their life. And they're sitting around worrying about silly shit like neck training and the thing is you know even greg said in his video well you know it's known that it reduces concussions worth that's subject to a lot of controversy by the way whether it reduces concussions or not in contact sports uh there have been studies both directions that is a point of major debate actually uh, there are studies on both sides of that, and there are experts who are arguing about whether it reduces concussions or not. You need to keep that in mind. That is not settled science. That is not settled science, right? Not settled science. Number two, what's all this stuff about guys talking about natural? Like, right? why is anyone staying natural? Why am I not blasting gear right now? You guys don't think I have access to gear? You don't think I have experience with gear? You guys don't think I know how to make gear? The whole internet knows, apparently, that I, I know how to make gear. That's the rumors, supposed evidence out there. Um, why am I not blasting gear? Because I care about my health. I care about my health. Heart conditions, sleep apnea. Sleep apnea, by the way, contributes to heart damage, by the way. There are experts. Dr. Mike Israel and others have come out and said that this direct neck training... This direct neck training can contribute and cause sleep apnea. So why are we standing around? Why are people promoting, who are promoting natural, going to stand there and promote training methods that replicate some of the same major health risk of, an, of abusing anabolics? Why don't you just use anabolics then? Like, don't do the stupid-ass neck training and just blast gear. I don't get it. What's the point? If you're going to replicate some of the negative health effects of blasting anabolics, why not just get all the benefits too? Because neck training is not going to make you big. It's not going to make you jacked. It's not going to make you strong. It does risk your potential health. 
And that's what I also don't get. You got guys like Kenobody, like Greg, you're a minimalist. You're promoting training minimalism, training three days a week. You haven't even been promoting people pushing squats and deadlifts, but you're going to promote net training? Are you serious, bro? Are you serious? Come on. Don't jump on that trendy ass bandwagon. Just because some cuck like the Dwarf Lord Strap on Destiny has done it, doesn't mean that you need to do it. Furthermore, I don't see any difference in your neck. You can put up whatever comparison pictures you want, but when I see your videos right now, your neck doesn't look any bigger than I remember it looking in older videos. It doesn't look bigger. You don't need to promote this. You know what? Go back to promoting what you've been promoting, the overhead press, benching, weighted pull-ups, maybe do a little side lateral work, maybe do a little bit of delt and bicep work to bring those up, make sure that they're on point. Dieting, eating plenty of protein, right? Go back and promote that stuff. You know it works. You don't need to push this silly nonsense. And, and we're kind of coming back to a point of these, these guys, so many of these guys are struggling with their manhood. And it's, it's literally, hey, instead of getting big and strong, instead of getting my squat and my deadlift up, I'm going to train my neck. And then the, all these guys, how many of them make the excuse as well, doing squats makes you look womanly. Are you serious? Squats and deadlifts do not make you womanly. Are you seriously, guys? Or they don't destroy your, your physique. I mean, they make you look big and jacked. All right, squats and deadlift make you big and jacked and strong. We, people need to understand being a man is about function and then form. If you guys want to be manly and you want to be men and you want to be masculine, get big and strong. It's not about, hey, can I, can I fake it by just doing some neck training? You want to fake it by doing some neck training. All right, just get in and train. Put some size on. Get big, get strong, and develop the confidence that comes with strength. Instead of insecurity, oh, man, I wonder if my neck looks manly enough, I better train my neck. Don't worry about that shit. Get big, get strong, get jacked. Sorry about that, guys. We're going to have to deal with sirens. Again, it's part and parcel to living in a big city. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it. This has been the noisiest day ever. I've had to wait like six hours to film any videos, and this is the best we can do. It is what it is. But uh, you guys don't need this nonsense. It's total bullshit. It's a waste of time. And I mean, I'm going to tell the guys right now who are worried about neck training, if you can't make time and recovery in the gym to do barbell squats and deadlifts, you sure as hell don't time to, to waste on silly ass neck training. And you know what? All these guys who are doing this neck training, none of their necks are any bigger than the guys who don't do neck training. Go look at all the other guys who just lift big heavy weights. Omar Issoff, perfect example. You saw Strap on who spent years doing this neck training when he was next to Omar. Was his neck any bigger? No. You know why? Because when you gain muscle, your neck is going to grow anyways. You're going to gain muscle in your neck. And doing direct neck work does nothing but potentially overdevelop some of the smaller muscles that don't matter that much. They don't enhance your appearance noticeably. All it's going to do is make some of those muscles bigger. It can contribute to things like sleep apnea. You're risking neck strains, everything else. Over what? Trying to fake looking a little more masculine? Go on a diet, lose some body fat, do some conditioning work, get big and strong on all your basic lifts, guys. This is, this, this is just total and complete horse shit. And it's being pushed by all these guys who really and truly struggle with, with understanding what it is to be a man. They, they just don't get it. And I get it, guys. They're, people who are raised by single mothers, unfortunately, are struggling with this. They don't always understand what it is to be a man. You know, hey, I love women, but you know, a woman can't teach boys how to be men. You know, we're seeing a whole generation of that. And this is exactly the sort of stuff that appeals to them, the silly gym cell nonsense of, well, maybe if you just if you just train your neck, you'll be manly and attractive. No, you, you just be a man. Just be a man. Do man stuff. But sitting around worrying about things like that, that's, that's the opposite of manly. That's the opposite of masculine. It's a very feminine mindset. And it's not beneficial here. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.